Hey there YouTube, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, Explorers of Sky. <laughs> Sorry. Derp. Here we have Shoot. Up and out of its morning! <laughs> Get used to seeing this, it happens a lot. <clears throat> we are in fact going to save our game. Because, I think it's high time we, uh, did a little bit of fanficking, shall we? I'll be right back. Hey guys, here we are back on the, uh, let me adjust this a little bit. We are back on the title screen, <laughs> or the top menu, rather. <coughs> it was about this point in the story that uh, Daniel and Abram decided to rename their team, so... The new name of the team will be... Olympia. I tried to hack Buck into our party, but uh, it doesn't seem like I can do that at this point in the time. Or maybe it's just something the tool I'm using doesn't support. In any case, we are going to have to continue our adventure without Buck, at least for now. So, let's get going. After I uh, pull up my notes here. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, so. Let's go. And three. Smiles, go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! Good question, buddy. Oh, you two. Still wandering around lost in the Well, come with me. job it was from the board on the other side. Correct. Today we'll have you do a job listed on this side. How is this different from the board on the other side? Take a closer look. Oh look Daniel, there are posters up there that show a variety of Pokemon. Wow, they all look pretty cool. Are they famous explorers? Who are these Pokemon, Chadot? Pokemon posted here are outlaws. They're all shady characters, and they're wanted for committing crimes. Oh no! They're outlaws? Correct. So there are bounties on their heads. In other words, there's a cash reward if you capture one. There are so many aggressive Pokemon around these days that everyone's finding it hard to keep up with the problem. Wait, you're kind of telling us to go catch these outlaws? You can't be serious! That's not possible! Hehe! <laughs> Just joking. <coughs> The bad Pokemon out there come in all shades of badness. Some of those Pokemon are completely wicked through and through, but there are also bad Pokemon who are merely petty thieves. So you've got evil to naughty and everything in between. So I'm sure we can avoid giving you a job catching a super bad Pokemon. <laughs> so look over these posters, then pick the Pokemon that looks weak enough for you to bring to justice. Um, you say some are weak, but they're still bad Pokemon, aren't they? scared of dangerous Pokemon. It's all part of your training. You'll work through it, I'm sure. But I suppose you do need to be prepared to confront a tough opponent. So I'll have someone give you a tour of the facilities. Hey, Buck! Buck? Yup, yup! <sighs> you cold? Ah, Buck. These are the new recruits that just joined us. Take them and show them around the town. Yes sirree! By golly, I'll do just that! Yup, yup! This is Buck. He's one of your fellow apprentices. I want you to pay attention to what Buck has to say and follow his orders. Off you go! Aw shucks, I'm overjoyed. Why's that? I'm glad to have members junior to me. I'm almost overcome right now. I might just blubber with happiness. Before you all signed on, I was the most recent rookie. Well, I have to show you around. 
Come with me, please. First things first. Here we have Krogo, Gilliam the Alchemist is what I call him. See, uh, there is only one po other Pokemon that I remember naming in my fanfic, and uh, it's not Gilliam. So uh, you're going to be hearing a bunch of names that I made up just now. <coughs> Gilliam the Alchemist. Uh, but to tell the truth, I don't have any idea what that guy's up to. He always seems to be fiddling around with that big cauldron back there. It's all a mystery to me. Yup, yup. Over this way is a mess hall. And if you all look that way, you'll find the crew rooms. And this here leads to the guildmaster's chamber. Next, I'll guide you both around places outside the guild. can make a record of your adventure that they're water cold. Usually you make a record of your adventure by going to your bed to do it. Yep, yep. Seems you can make a record of your adventure over there, too. By golly, it's a handy spot where you want to record your adventure frequently. This is the main square for the local Pokemon. It's called Captain Town. Named by Super Mystery Dungeon, not by me. <coughs> oh, I can tell you about Captain Town, too. That over there is the Duskull Bank. Let's save our money there. And that over there is the Electivire Link Shop. That's we can do things like Link moves together, but it looks as if Gauss the Tutor isn't here today. Here we have the Kecleon Brothers Market. You can buy and sell items here. And there's Kangaskhan Storage. Items stored there will never be lost. If you have precious items that you can't afford to lose, store them here before you go on an adventure. And those are the basic places that exploration teams visit. And that should do it. You sure know a lot, yes sirree. That's good to know. Alright then, come find me when you're all ready to go. I'll give you a helping hand in selecting the right outlaw for you. Thank you, Buck. You've been really nice. Thank you, Ollie. You're embarrassing me. Oh, shucks. I'll be waiting at the guild's upper underground floor for you. Okay, let's go. I'd like to see what kinds of items are available. Let's go to the Kecleon Brothers Market. Before we head back, a visit to the Kecleon Brothers Market is a must. Meet Noctis the Banker. Welcome to Duskull Bank. How may I help? <laughs> we only have 272 yen, so uh, we're not going to uh, bother with this. <coughs> it's Lock and Gotcha of Team CG. We're a two-member exploration team. We're Seedot and Pidgey. Lock and Gotcha. Our team named CG combined their names. So remember it! Exploration teams gathered here from all over. Our own team CG is one of them. Hey, hey, hey! It's Albert! You there! You're the new rookies at the guild, aren't you? Hey, hey! My name's Corfish. I mean, Albert. I gotta stop doing that. But yeah, I think if you've seen uh, a certain movie or really old uh, cartoon, you will know what the reference is. I'm an apprentice at the Wiggly Tough Guild too. Hey, hey! If you don't know what's going on or whatever, you come ask me. You got that? Hey, hey! It's a pun on the Japanese name of poor fish. Nobody cares. It's Hinawa, the Sunflora. Yeah. Oh my gosh! The new guild recruits! Delighted to meet you! You get all sorts of things here. It's quite convenient. You build a sock of waves to lead your explorations. There's a notice posted here. Something's written on it. Phoenix Dojo has collapsed. But it will rise from the rubble again. Yes, the dojo will be its resurrected to its former glory. 
zealous sensei. <laughs> and I came up with that name for uh, no particular reason. I've been playing a quest called AU, and uh, Zealous Phoenix is the name of the protagonist. So, yeah. Exploration team is called Team Tasty. That cool name was thought of by my partner, uh, Terry, next to me. What do you think? Cool name, am I right? Terry and Max of Team Tasty. Here we have a shop. A shop that is abandoned. It is the Zatu Treasure Shop, run by Merlo the Seer. Are you two the new apprentices at the guild? And hello, the name's Emil. I'm no good at sitting still. I'm always bursting with energy. Great to meet you. My favorite things, darlings. Well, I do ever have an eye for smugglies. I can't tell my partner that we should seek out fleshy gobbles and glamorous goods. But, but Ephemera always re reacts coolly to my suggestions. She seems not to hear, or she just won't listen. Ugh, it's aggravating. We're to heaven. We travel and explore all over. Lady Noir and Ephemera of Team Ebony. Treasure hunters to the max. At least that's what I like to think. Hello there. Welcome to Kangaskhan Storage. It's Sasha the Keeper. She can hold on to our items for us. It's pretty neat. Thanks, sweetie. Come again. And finally, the Kecleon Brothers of the Kecleon Brothers Market. Tornico and Tulum. Welcome to the Kecleon Brothers Market. <coughs> Geopebbles are throwable items. They are nice to have. We are going to want to, uh... Let's buy ten of them. Taloon uh, sells orbs and TMs, while Tornico sells uh, various other items. You can expect to find uh, some gummies every now and then, so it's good for uh, grinding IQ points. Ah, little Tommy and Timmy. Welcome, my new friends. Oh, most certainly. Tommy and Timmy brought an apple at the Kecleon Brothers Market. Thank you, Mr. Tornico. No, thank you, my own friends. To be admired. You see, those delightful children are brothers. Lately, their poor mother has fallen sick. I named her Tammy, because of course I did. So those young brothers come and do the shopping for her. It's quite remarkable. Though very young, they stepped up and taken charge. Mr. Tornico! Well, what's the hurry? What makes you return in such a rush? There's an extra apple! We didn't pay for this money. Oh yes, that, young friends, is a gift from me and my brother. Please, share it among yourselves and do enjoy. Really? Yay! Thank you, Mr. Tornico and Mr. Tulane! Oh, not to worry, my friends. Do take care of your way home. Bother you. Thank you so much. Daniel gave the apple back to Timmy, but then suddenly. What was that? Dizzy? Or, or am I. A vision. Help! What was that? I'm, heard sh I'm sure I heard a shout for help just now. Did that shout come from you? It's not really matter. Hey, Timmy! What's going on? Hurry home! Yep, yeah, I'm coming! Wait up! <laughs> I can't do little kid voices. Are you alright? Yep. Yeah. I don't know if I 
shopping. I really gotta look for an item to lost. Let's get going. Yep, I'm coming. Those guys are cute. Huh? What's the matter, Daniel? Huh? Did I hear a shout for help just then? Uh, no. I didn't hear anything like that. Hey, Kecleon brothers. Did you hear anything strange just a moment ago? No, nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anything odd either. It sounds like the Kecleon brothers didn't hear anything odd either. You must have imagined it, Daniel. No, I'm positive that I didn't imagine it. I definitely heard it. That shot I heard. Help! There's no mistaking it. That was Timmy's scream. Uh, are you daydreaming? Let's move it, Daniel. Nothing. What's going on? Oh, hi! Some time ago, we lost an item that's pretty important to us. We've been looking all over, but we haven't found it yet. Then Mr. Drazzy came along. I think he, I think his first name is Everdrad. And he says he may have seen our lost item somewhere. He can offer to help us look for it. We're so happy about this. Yeah, that's great for you! Thank you, Mr. Avadred! Oh, please. I'd have to have a cold heart to ignore kids in need. I can't turn blind eye. Let's be on our way to the in our search. Yup! Yup! Whoop! Excuse me. Uh, when is this? That drowsy sure is a nice Pokemon, isn't he? I'm impressed. With more and more bad Pokemon around, it's hard to do good deeds. It's happening again. Another dizzy spell. If you keep being difficult, it'll mean big trouble for you. Help! <coughs> what was that? It'd be nice if those little guys found their item soon. Huh? What's the matter, Daniel? You're looking awfully grim. You want to tell me something? What? You had a dizzy spell? Then you saw Timmy being threatened by Everdread? So you want to go rescue Timmy right away? It's an emergency? Well, what you described does sound like an emergency, but... Well, it's not like I don't trust you, Daniel, but... I just can't believe it. After all, Everdread seemed to be a sincerely nice Pokemon, didn't he? I watched the three of them go off earlier. They looked like they were having a good time, didn't they? You're probably just tired, Daniel. Maybe that's why you just had that bad daydream. Was that it? Just the bad daydream? But come to think of it, that Drowsy didn't seem like a bad Pokemon. Anyway, we're only apprentices. We can't just go do whatever we want. Sure, it's worrying, but we have to concentrate on our guild work for now. Let's get ourselves ready to explore. Then we should find Buck. He's supposed to be waiting for us on the guild's upper underground floor. Let's go, Daniel! First, I think I'm going to uh, arrange my items here. We got a bunch of things I don't want to hold on to just yet. I think we'll be running into any poisonous Pokemon, so uh, we can get rid of these berries for now. The Blast Seed and the Warp Seed I'm holding on to, though. Alright, that will be our preparation. Let's uh, stash our wares in the bank, all 22 of them. Let's go. 
If we go down this way... It's the beach where we met Abram. But we are not going back to the beach cave. We have to go say hi to Buck. So, the ability that Daniel uh, showed here, uh, that is actually canon in our fanfic, but it doesn't go by the name the game gives it. If prompted by perhaps a curious audience, I would name this ability Chekhov's Lens. See, the deal with Daniel is he is a chosen avatar of the gods of time and was gifted for, with this ability from birth, which is uh, actually pretty accurate to how it is in the uh, game. He's always had this ability. This isn't him. He can touch a person or object and look forward or backward into their story for significant events, memories to reveal certain truths, and points in the future where the story could change through his influence. Being only 8 years old, Dano has yet to master this ability, so he only gets glimpses through the lens, as we've seen this now. Usually completely by accident. Actually, there was something I wanted to uh, read here. The Wigglytuff Guild. 10 rules for exploration. 1. Don't shirk work. 2. Run away and pay. 3. Smiles go for miles. 4. Once you put a job on your team's list, then use Take Job. That step can't be missed. 5. Restock your supplies and rations before heading out on explorations. 6. Before you explore, try to think about the moves you should make. 7. While exploring, don't you panic. Stay cool and calm, never manic. 8. Helping po all Pokémon in need is an explorer's duty indeed. 9. Do lots of jobs, that's truly the key. You'll reach gold rank, just wait and see. 10. The money you earn is shared with the guild. That's the way our friendship will build. No salespeople, no agents, no survey takers. You don't have to be that rude about it, Mr. Guy. All sorts of information is written here. Pokemon Exploration Team Federation is a mysterious organization to which all excellent explorers belong. The Federation collects dues from guilds nationwide for producing items and badges used by explorers. The Federation also operates a number of services for explorers. It's an indispensable organization for explorers. Put it simply, it's an incredibly great organization. This spot is reserved for useful notices, hints, tips, advice, and so on. That is all. So, uh, yeah, it's a hint board, which you guys don't need because you have me. <laughs> We're Team Glee! We're the exploration team that delivers happiness! So many Pokemon in need! Just look at these boards! We have to help them! Worrying isn't for us. It's lucky, nice, and gorgeous of Team Glee. <clears throat> You never have too many Earthbound references, that's what I say. Anyway, here's Buck. Huh? Oh, are you folks all set and ready for some exploring? Nice mess up. Oh, yes siree. Reckon you all are. You all are well ready. Now let's take ourselves a lawbreaker for you to find. What? You got your pick of this song. As your mentor, how about I do what you want? Don't choose anyone too scared. Yes, sir, I hear you. Let's see. Stand clear, updating listings. Stand clear, updating listings. What? What's that? What's happening? Oh, the data's getting updated. It's being updated? Yikes! Did you see that? The panel flipped over. What's going on here? The Outlaw Notice Board and Job Bolton Board set up on revolving panels. When the panels flipped over, the Pokemon named, mm, let's say, Dale Senior swaps out the old jobs with the new ones. Dale Senior? He's a Doug Trio. The father of Dale Jr. 
Oh, dude, and Data is Dale Sr.'s dude. He tunnels his way to our guild. <coughs> and he flips the panel and updates the data. This dude doesn't get noticed much, but it's very important. Yep, yep. That's why Dale Sr. takes such great pride in the duty he does. Oh, is that so? Update completed! Stand clear! Update completed! Stand clear! Oh, looks like he's done. Boink. Yes siree, data's updated. List of outlaws has been refreshed, so let's pick one. Huh? What's ailing you? Why are you shivering all of a sudden? It's not cold here, after all. Look, look, look at this, Daniel! At the top, on the left! It's Everdread! He's a wanted criminal! We have to get moving! Timmy will be in danger! Uh, no, what's going on? Who are you all off to? Look, there's Tommy! Tommy, what's the matter? Where are Timmy and Drowsy? Or Everdread? You gotta stop doing that. Yes, about them. After we all left, we went looking for our lost item again. But I wound up all alone when Mr. Everdread went somewhere with Timmy. I called and called, but they didn't come back. I got scared. So which way did they go? That way. You think Everdread and Timmy went in this direction? Yes. Oh, Daniel! The Everdread and Timmy saw in your dream. You were saying you saw them in a mountainous place, right? I get the feeling that they're up ahead here. Let's get going, Daniel! If this were indeed the fanfic, Timmy and Buck would be joining us, but as it is, we have to go to learn. Let's go. Mount Bristle is uh, rather infamous among Mystery Dungeon players for being a huge difficulty spike. Mostly due to the Starlies, but uh, we are going to be fighting Everdread at the end as a boss, and he is uh, rather a pain, so stock up on items, it's going to be hard. But for now, we are going to set our Geo Pebbles as the set item. If we press L and R together, we can throw it for 10 damage. <coughs> this cuts corners, travels over walls, and can travel at an angle. They're very, very handy. Sticks, which uh, you have seen mentioned, are uh, more like darts. You throw them straight forward, they uh, are actually influenced by your Pokémon's stats. So uh, use them as your uh, ranged attack. Blowback Orb. Orbs are one-use tools that uh, do not work against bosses. A weapon item that sends a distant Pokemon flying back, taking damage if it then hits a wall or another Pokemon. It has a line of sight range. Starly. Starly is the most dangerous Pokemon on the mountain, for no good reason. We're going to want to take him out, as soon as possible. Also, Abram leveled up. Yeah! Ugh, that didn't go well. Eh, this won't be easy. Let's break for today. I suppose we might as well save. I hope we didn't lose our Viridian, though. We didn't. We lost some other stuff, though. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! Hurry, we have to rescue Timmy! Off to Mount Bristle! the crew at hard at work. 
still don't have a name for China, though. Uh, I'm recording all of the first three episodes on the scene. Now. The name's Gil. Nice to meet you, ladies. Hey, Dale! Let me know right away if anyone sketchy comes along! Yes, will do! Sorry, but we gotta cut and run again. Let's see if anybody new has shown up here in Captain Town. There's Evan. Since we have not made any story progress, we probably aren't going to see uh, any new characters. Yeah, that's what I thought. In that case, let's uh, run on off the Mount Bristol. Try to do uh, a little better this time. Here you can see we get a list of dungeons to pick from. Mount Bristle is way out here for some reason. So, uh, is it really any surprise we, it's so hard considering it's so far from town? It's yet another Starly! Yes, thank you! Thank you, Abram. That's exactly what I want. Uh, our defense campaign against the birds. Let's take a horse seat. Machop is uh, is kind of small time by comparison. It's a Spinarak. Spinarak is a bug poison type, I believe. Starly is normal flying, and Machop is fighting. <coughs> Being a bug type, Spinarak is weak to our ember. In other news, uh, something I did not mention in the last two episodes. You can see that uh, we have a size. Size is, simply put, a measure of the Pokémon's size. You can take four Pokémon with you into dungeons, and they have to have a total size of six or less. So, uh, your starter Pokémon, regardless of their actual size, will always be size one. This is very convenient. And here, we have an ability called Blaze. It boosts the power of Fire-type moves when our HP is low. Good to know, right? Abram's ability is static. It paralyzes an attacker who lands a direct contact attack. I don't think there's any actual way of knowing in advance whether a move is direct contact, but, uh, you can use your brain, I guess. We are going to be carrying on. The Geopedal is nice to have. Grass Gummy! We just got lucky. Of course, uh, it's not going to do very much for Dan, so I propose we give it to Ava. Doduo is another normal flying type, even though uh, you can probably see uh, he has no reason to fly. A running bird with two hands. Simply that. <coughs> Ouch, Growl, uh, as you can see, Growl hits the entire room. Uh, if your physical attack gets weakened, use special attacks. It's always good to have a mix of the two, unless uh, your stats clearly favor one over the other. Here 
here's our stick. I forgot to hold on to this, I suppose. It's not like we can do much with it. So, the soundtrack for this game. I love the soundtrack for this game. The dungeon scenes are all very varied and pretty well composed, honestly. Definitely makes this game more memorable. Uh oh, it's Nidorino, I think. Yeah, what's an evolved Pokemon doing here? Uh, talk about a difficulty spike. A dose. What, you may ask, is this? Allow me to explain. There's a look-alike a, a food item that makes more Pokey appear on the next floor. It also somewhat fills Pokemon's belly. There's a look-alike item for the Doom Sea, but this is one mistake you'll be very happy to make. Someone's lucky day! Ching. Female Nidoran. Not the evolved form of any particular Nidoran. But watch out for their poison point, because, uh, they can poison Geodude is a rock and ground type. Uh, both of us are at a major disadvantage here, but thankfully they have pretty low special defense. You know what? This is dumb. This is why we keep items on here. As you can see, our HP slowly regenerates over time. If you uh, stall by holding A and B together, you can speed this up somewhat. By making a turns pass in rapid succession. Abram grew to level 9. Very nice. I believe the next floor is the last floor, so, uh... Darley. So yeah, uh, another trick you can do- What? Why do you know Quick Attack? Alright, we're gonna have to, uh, watch Abram's tongue here. You can see that Quick Attack is, uh, very nearly a two-hit knockout. And if you came in as a Grass-type starter or a Riolu, Sorry, but you are kind of screwed in this dungeon. Ain't nothing to do with grind. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, let's proceed. Oh, the ninth floor wasn't. Is this the last actual floor? Or am I just wrong about everything? Yeah, we are running away from any and all stars. So, yeah, nine floors of dungeon and then the peak. Uh-oh. It's a dead end. Excuse me, Mr. Drowsy. Where's the lost item? Could you show me where the item is now? Sorry, kiddo. Lost item? It's not here, that's for sure. My, my big brother. My big brother's following us, right? He's coming soon? Nope. Your big brother's not coming. You know, I'll let you in on a little secret. This was all a trick. I deceived you. But let's not dwell on that. There's a little favor I need to ask. See that hole behind you? Well, there's a rumor that there's a trove of thief treasure inside there. But as you can see, I'm too big to squirt my way through that hole. And that's where you come in. Don't worry, just do as I say. Do that, then I'll help you get back out of there. Go on, get going. Go into that hole, and don't forget to bring back the treasure. Hey, hey, stop that! Sheesh, I said I'll take you home when you're done. If you keep being difficult, it'll mean big trouble for you. <laughs> Help! Stop right there! We won't let you do that. Everdread, you bully. How did you find this place? We're Team Olympia, an exploration team. 
No criminal can escape us. Exploration team? You came to apprehend... Huh? Are you trembling? Aha! I figured it out. You say you're on an exploration team, but you're total rookies. <laughs> That's right. I'm a wanted Pokemon with a bounty on my head. But can you two do the job? Can you confront this outlaw and bring him to justice? <clears throat> yes! We can! Yes, we can! We never lose to a bad guy like you. <laughs> I've been chased by all sorts of exploration teams in the die day, but never a sorrier looking bunch than you two. <laughs> this should be a laugh. Let's see if you can take me down. Show me what you got! If you came in as a fighting type, I pity you. Meet Everdread, our second boss. Right away, we are going to put him to sleep with our... Oh. Well, uh... That's gonna be a problem. Uh, we better hope Abram is up for the task, because uh, this did not work out very well. And I need to eat an item. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, uh, Drowsy here has two abilities. Forewarn apparently raises his evasion, and Insomnia prevents sleepiness. So we're just gonna have to last him. Alright, that went better than it could have. Ugh. I came to rescue you. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Okay. Great. What a relief. Your big brother's waiting. Let's go home. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about this guy. I do not have a name for him. <laughs> Thanks to you. We have been able to arrest the wanted outlaw. <laughs> we owe you great thanks for your cooperation. <laughs> we will send a reward to your guild. Thank you again. <laughs> now come with us. <laughs> Timmy! Tommy! I can't do a little kid crying. Tommy, he's so scary. Are you okay? Is he, are you hurt? He's fine. The little guy hasn't been harmed in any way. Really? That's a relief. Timmy. Timmy. I'm glad you kids are happy. You did this, all this for us, Abram and Daniel. We don't forget what you did for us. Thank you so much. Come on, Timmy. You too. Really, really, thank you. The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. Daniel's team was rewarded with an enlarged treasure bag. You can now carry 24 items. There's one more message. The special episode, Buck's Wish, has been unlocked. To play a special episode, select it from the episode list on the top menu. If you would like to play a special episode, save your adventure progress and return to the top menu. I've gotten the bounty from Officer Magnazern for the capture of Well done, you two. <coughs> Here's our share for the job. It's yours to keep. However, because 2700 of that is the guild's share, that portion was withheld. As a result, Daniel's team received only the remaining 300. What? This is all we get? all that hard work. But of course, it's all part of the training. And we expect just as much effort tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee. You can kind of see why I do not like this guy. Yeah, if our shared reward is just a little bit. But that's alright. We managed to rescue Timmy. It's all thanks to you, Daniel. Because you had that dream, Daniel. We learned about Timmy's trouble in advance. That's true. I can't explain it, but... 
That first shout I heard from Timmy. Help! And that dream I had. Both of these events, they took place in the future. Why was I able to see something like that? What was that dream about? Oh, my stomach growled. <laughs> Your stomach growled too, Daniel. You must have worked up a big appetite. You're so focused on rescuing Timmy that I didn't notice at all. But now I'm even hungrier. Come on, let's go get dinner, Daniel. Om nom nom. Is he just bouncing that perfect apple on the head? She's such a silly. Meanwhile. Oh, never mind. Later that night. Wow, that lightning's intense. Looks like it's really stormy tonight. Uh, hold on. You know the night before we met, Daniel? It was storing that night. I found you out cold on the beach the day after that stormy night, Daniel. Well, do you remember anything about being out cold on the beach? Can you remember anything at all? I wonder. Hmm. <coughs> it's a storm, but how did I end up unconscious there? Nope, I can't remember a thing. I guess it won't be that easy. But that's alright, just try to remember it. Just try remembering a little at a time. We have to get up early again tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Listen, Daniel. Are you still awake, Daniel? I've been thinking it over since it happened. The strange dream you had, Daniel. Maybe it has to do with you personally. That's just the feeling I get. And I sure don't know any other Charmander who dreams about the future. And I've never heard of a human suddenly turning into a Pokemon either. Because he's never gone to nowhere. <laughs> That's why I think those two events are connected. I can't help feeling that way. Key to unlocking my memory. Was it in that dream? But even if that were true, how does it relate to anything else? I have no way of knowing what you were like as a human, Daniel, but I think you must have been a good person. After all, Daniel, it was your dream that helped us catch that bad Pokemon. Bad Pokemon, huh? Oh, that reminds me of what Paul said. The growing number of bad Pokemon has been caused by time going out of whack. You know, time is getting messed up bit by bit all over the world. No one seems to know why, but everyone believes that the time gears are involved somehow. Huh? Time gears? They say time gears are hidden in secret places around the world. Like in a forest. Or at a lake in an underground cavern. I even heard that there's a hidden altar inside a volcano. At the center of such places is what's known as a time gear. Time gears serve a very important function. Each one protects time and keeps time flowing properly in its region. <coughs> but what happens if the region loses its time gear? I don't really know the answer to that question. My guess is that if the time gear is removed from a region, the flow of that time in that region will probably stop too. That's why everyone is sure never to disturb the time gears. Everyone has long been certain that some kind of disaster will strike, so everyone stays away from the time gears and doesn't cancel them. Even the most hardened criminal Pokemon may have avoided this. Do my eyes deceive me? Could it be? Yes, it is! Finally found it! A time gear! But this is only the first of many. The next morning. 
Up and out of it's morning! Uh, good morning, Daniel. Alright, sorry to cut and run, but I have a phone call. Bye-bye for now.